Welcome back to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. Okay, so today I am just unboxing what's in my Chanel bag right here. I went shopping, of course, these are impulse buys <laughs> as usual. So anyway this time i was in brisbane city and i was supposed to just walk past okay the chanel store and i don't know i just walked in and said oh i'll just have a look you know window shopping and it didn't work out that way so in brisbane city in australia um there's like davy jones the main shopping center and in there, there's like Chanel counter as well that where you can buy like um, makeup and perfumes. So I passed through there. And then when I went outside, there's like a um, Chanel store and walked in there as well and it picked up an item. So yeah, let's not talk more. Let me just show you what's in here. I just took off the ribbon. And they do their packaging really nice. Um, anyway, so that's it there. Put it down. Hope you can see that. Okay, look at that, like the sticky, but anyway, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute wrapping, but it's so messy. that and we have this box <laughs> all right quite a hefty box of course this is not my first time unboxing chanel uh, packages so um excuse me if i wheeze through this these are just some samples that they gave me at chanel um this is the lift cream um soothes and firm skin so i think this is an eye cream that she gave me and this is a mascara i mean i don't know if you care but that's that and this another mascara like i need to anyway that's that okay so this is Coco Chanel, okay, um, the perfume. So we'll start with that. Let's just open it. This is not actually my first time owning Coco Chanel, the perfume. I had like the travel set and I gave that one away, um, but I knew I would buy a 100 ml bottle eventually anyway, so. I was happy to let go of that travel set. I really enjoy this perfume. Uh, anyway, so like I mentioned, this is a 100 ml bottle. That's how it comes. Wow, it gets me every time. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so it says Coco Eau de Parfum Chanel Paris. Oh, okay. So I will put the notes on the screen. Um, there's some mandarin orange in here, jasmine, uh, cloves, definitely, um, rose. Okay, this is a classic scent. It's not uh, modern in any way, really. It's, if you like uh, Chanel number no. five, uh, even Coco Mademoiselle, um, just classic scents, nothing cheesy, nothing anyone who is not into perfume would like, you know, someone who's just starting perfumes. Um, this is classy, like sophisticated, uh, old school, you know, um, it's a bit more bearable than the classic 
Number five, I picture a lady who wears heels and is classy, sophisticated, likes the red lip or the neutral lip, you know, um, just a classic woman. It's not for everyone. She's happy with who she is as a person. She doesn't need you to approve of her or you know, shout her with compliments all the time because she already loves herself, okay? Um, you will smell this after many hours, eight hours to 10 hours. Sometimes I wear it to work. I actually have a friend who has this perfume as her signature scent and she loves it. She's repurchased this perfume a million times and if you wanna gift her something, this is what you buy for her. Uh, yes, so you will almost always get compliments for this perfume. Um, it's just for Chanel lovers, really. If you're a Chanel woman, you will love this one. Like I said, it's not like the modern smell. It's not those watered down, you know, everybody must like me kind of smell. It's, it's, it's different. Okay, so um, it doesn't really change once you spray it on the skin. It is what it is. It might get a little bit soapy on your skin, like smell a bit soapy, but but it pretty much stays um, smelling the way it does from the bottle. It's similar to Chanel number no. five, but much more likable to other people. Personally, I like Chanel number no. five because on my skin, it, it smells really soapy and fresh. Yes, if you don't like number five, go ahead and try this one and you might really like this one. So yeah, that's Coco Chanel. All right, so I actually have two more items from Chanel that I wanna show you today. And I just realized I have two more samples in the box. This is the multi-use illuminating base cream from Chanel. These are the samples. So, yes, <laughs> we'll try those later. Now, the next item I wanna show you it's a little bit smaller. This is the Rouge Coco Flush. I thought I'd try this um, set and see how I like it. Um, this is 70, number 70 Attitude. That's the color, that's the name of the color. It is a hydrating, vibrant shine lip color. Okay. Wow, I am excited to try this, you guys. And if I like this formula, I will go back and buy more. The standard Chanel um, lipstick packaging. It's a slick, glossy case with that there. Oh, that is so pretty, the CCs steady and it's very lightweight this is not like the other the allure set anyway that's the color i decided to go with it looks darker in the packaging than it does swatched on your arm or on your lips so we're gonna give that a try yeah so i hope you can see that I'll just apply it and that's it there. Again, this is attitude number 70. It is very smooth on application. It is a little bit glossy, but not quite. It looks moisturizing. They usually are moisturizing some of these um, Chanel lipsticks. I'm gonna try this later on the lips. I mean, yeah, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So now we're coming down to the last item that I wanna show you in this video. It is nothing 
that I had planned to buy, of course, but I felt as though it was a necessity. <laughs> oh my gosh. I keep saying that about everything, but I got it packaged separately and everything, but um, I unboxed it. I was meant to use it, was it last week? But I ran out of time to pack it the stuff that I wanted to put in here. So I ended up just leaving it, you know, but um, yes, so it still has the tag. Okay, I'll cut that out later. I don't wanna ruin the packaging. Um, the authenticity card, the ribbon. You kinda get used to this Chanel packaging, you know, um, and the case that the pouch comes in. Yes, so this is basically the Chanel all pouch. And it looks like this. It is still got its sticker on there. Let's take that off. Okay, I chose with um, the champagne gold hardware and the same hardware on here and it's got the CC just there on the zipper and yeah, very smooth zip. Comes with the stuffing and that's it in there, just that burgundy lining. It's a standard pouch, but you know, um, SLGs, which are small leather goods from Chanel, I think are also good investments. I mean, if I ever decide to sell it later, I might get some money out of it, but I don't sell any of my stuff. I always tell myself or reason the things that I'm buying by you know the resale and all that but i actually never end up reselling or you know selling anything so anyway i can't wait to see what fits in this pouch i'm thinking about maybe putting my car keys in here or using it as a wallet or uh yeah putting my cards i might put my lipsticks in here my lip products in here or if i'm in a rush i might just pop in um my hand sanitizer my bank card details or whatever and be on my way so i'll have to double check but i think the measurements on this one are uh, 9.5 by 15 by one centimeter. Let me know down below if you want me to show you what I can fit in here and what I actually ended up using it for. So yes, I am so excited. Again, this is the Chanel All Pouch. And it retailed about seven something, 750 Australian dollars. So yeah, um, I got it in the caviar leather. Um, so that's the grainy leather that you can see here. Typically, I like um, the lambskin um, from all of Chanel's products, but I thought since I'll be throwing this in my bag and you know, it might get all scruffed up and yeah, I'll be quite, you know, rough. I mean, I'm, your gentle might be my rough or my rough could be your gentle you know i have a light touch so i don't tend to destroy my things they don't get broken and they last me a very long time but to me i could be rough but then again my touch is not as bad as other people do you get me okay am i making sense anyway so yes caviar leather um champagne gold hardware and that burgundy lining so Yes, that is the Chanel O pouch. MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I'm just putting a little bit. Mm. 
we're gonna use our Rouge Coco Flush in Attitude number 70. Just so I can show you a swatch on my lips. Okay. How does that look? <laughs> so, um, the sales assistant said that if I continue applying, so if you keep applying it, the color will become more and more pigmented and deeper and darker, which I would say is common sense. But anyway, <laughs> that's good information to know as well. Um, so it goes on a bit sheer and then you keep applying and like again, you get that pigment. The gloss is, it's a bit shiny as you can see. Glossy, moisturizing, it's great. So yes, so far we like this formula. It is definitely not transfer proof, okay? <laughs> I can tell you that off the bat. But yes, we like a good Chanel lip. It's pretty much true to color. Um, so yeah. So that concludes my unboxing of a few Chanel products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and leave a comment down bar below. Just let me know if you have purchased anything from Chanel recently. And I know about the price increase, but those people that had uh, Chanel products before the price increase are probably celebrating. I'm one of them <laughs> um, because now their stuff has gone up in value. Um, would I continue purchasing Chanel bags and so on? Mm, I don't know. I would really have to think about it because I've got my eyes on more Hermes since it's, you know, the Chanel and the Hermes pricing is similar, um, kind of, you know, close together at this point. So instead of getting Chanel, I'll probably go into Hermes. But I understand for those that had never purchased a Chanel bag or anything from Chanel before the price increase, if you really just always wanted to own something Chanel, I mean, what can you do? You either can go on the pre-loved market and buy something um, or buy in store if you really, really want something brand spanking new. But honestly, pre-loved market is a bargain, okay? So I would go that route because some of these price increases are extortionate, okay? Anyway, that is not the point of this video. Let's end it here. I hope to see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching, bye.